Japan is a traveler's paradise, with hillside combined results, hot spring, towns, peaceful beach, lined islands, and busy megacities on the menu, you might spend a lifetime exploring the country's charms, but certain places and attractions are must, seize, essential components of any excellent Japan vacation. In this video, we all will talk about 10 best places to visit in Japan. By the end of this video you'll get to know all about the best places of Japan. Before proceeding make sure to subscribe to our channel, here are our picks for the top 10 locations to visit in Japan. Number 10. Kamikochi, best for mountain hikes, Kamichi is a highland river valley that is encircled by the rising peaks of the northern Japan Alps. It is considered to be one of the most stunning natural vistas in all of Japan. There are day hikes available along the unspoiled Azusa, Gawa that pass through peaceful willow, larch, and elm forests. In addition to being the birthplace of Japanese mountaineering, Kamichi serves as the beginning point for more challenging ascents of many of Japan's highest peaks, including Yari, GA, Take, 31 ADM. The use of private vehicles is forbidden in Kamichi, which helps to keep the population density lower. Number 9. Osaka, best for nightlife and street food, when it comes to urban experiences, Tokyo does not have all of the superlatives. Takoyaki. Japan's hallmark dish, is a must, try in Osaka, Japan's third, largest city, grilled octopus dumplings. It also offers one of the most stunning nightscapes in the city, with a brilliant display of LED lights, dynamic signs, and flashing video displays along the canal site strip Tambori. The city, Japan's oldest trading town, has its own speed, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. Its unofficial motto is Kideor, eat until you drop, in addition to nightly lodging costs, Osaka hotels often charge an accommodation tax, which varies according to the normal nightly rate. Number 8. Okinawa and the Southern Islands, best for beaches, when compared to the rest of Japan. The experiences that may be had in Okinawa and the Southwest Islands are entirely unique. An arch is formed by this subtropical archipelago that may be found between Kyushu and Taiwan. They founded their own state which they called the Rikyu Empire, until it was captured by Japan in the 19th century. The cultural contrasts can be seen in everything from the architecture to the cuisine. It is in this region that you will discover Japan's most beautiful beaches, such as those found on the Yayama Islands and the Karama Islands, which have powder, white sand, palm trees, and azure sea. Relax in the warm sunshine, go snorkeling, or perhaps scuba diving. Number 7. Koya, San, best for exploring temples, riding the funicular up to Kia, San, the hallowed Buddhist monastery complex, seems like rising to another universe. Over a hundred temples may be found here, the most notable of which is Oku, No, In, whose walkways wind between tall cryptomeria trees in time, worn stone stupas coated in moss and lichen. Other temples provide a unique experience, such as the opportunity to stay the night eat on traditional vegetarian Buddhist food, and rise early for morning meditation with the resident monks, though there are no specific clothing standards at Japanese temples and shrines, visitors are encouraged to remain relatively quiet in these hallowed places. Number 6. Yakushima, best for forest bathing, Yakushima, a tiny island off the coast of southern Kyushu, is often characterized as wonderful, enchanted, and even otherworldly. It's a place where words fail and cliches take their place. The Yakusuji, an old cedar unique to the island whose gigantic roots mimic alien tentacles, may be found in some of Japan's remaining virgin woods. Hiking routes run under them, covering rugged ground that is typically strewn with moss. The environment here is said to have inspired Studio Ghibli's renowned animated feature Princess Mononoke. When you're finished trekking, visit the Yakusuji Museum to discover more about the significance of Yakusuji or Japanese cedar trees, to the Yakushima Islanders. There is an English audio guide available. Number 5. Hiroshima, best for being reflective, Hiroshima is evolving into a forward, thinking metropolis with verdant boulevards. It is not until you visit the Peace Memorial Museum that you realize the full extent of the atomic bomb's human toll. A visit here is a sad and vital historical lesson. Tanj Kens. Japan's famed modernist architect, designed a portion of the park around the museum, which affords various opportunities for meditation. However, the city's resolve, as well as its food, 
will ensure that you leave with happy memories? Into Fuji, best for sightseeing and pilgrimages, even from afar. Into Fuji will take your breath away. Close. Up. Japan's highest peak's perfectly symmetrical cone is breathtaking. Dawn from the summit? It's sheer enchantment. Fuji. San is a revered and enduring landmark in Japan. Hundreds of thousands of people climb it each year, continuing as centuries. Old tradition of pilgrimages to the sacred volcano. Those who prefer to seek out picture, perfect panoramas from less challenging adjacent peaks may follow in the footsteps of Japan's most famous painters and poets, climb into Fuji during its official season, which runs from July 1st to mid-September, to avoid the rainy season and snowfall. Always check for typhoon warnings before venturing out in Japan. Number 3. Naoshima, best for architecture, Naoshima is one of Japan's great success stories, transforming a rural island on the verge of becoming a ghost town into a world-class center for contemporary art. Many of Japan's most known architects have contributed projects such as museums, a boutique hotel, and even a bathhouse, all of which are intended to complement the island's natural beauty and current inhabitants. The resulting combination of avant, guard and rural Japan is hypnotic. It has also inspired some Japanese to leave the big cities and live a calmer life in Naoshima, where they own cafes and inns. Try to arrange your visit to coincide with one of the Satuchi Triennale Festival's three displays, which are held every three years in the spring, summer, and autumn, the most recent being in 2022. Naoshima has a number of art, theatrical, music, and dance events that add to the festival's distinctiveness. Number 2. Kyoto, best for traditional experiences, Kyoto, Japan's royal capital for 1,000 years, has over a thousand temples. Among them are the colossal, like as Kinkaku, G, a magnificent pavilion totally covered in gold leaf, and the contemplative, such as Ryan, G, with its austere Zen rock garden. And temples are only the beginning. There's tea culture, which you can enjoy at one of the city's many magnificent tea houses, geisha art those famous performers of traditional song and dance, and a rich culinary culture, including kaiseki, Japanese haute cuisine. Number 1. Tokyo, best for contemporary culture. Tokyo is a city that is always pushing the frontiers of what is feasible on highly populated, earthquake-prone territory, erecting increasingly higher, sleeker skyscrapers. It is Japan's premier destination for modern art and architecture, pop culture, shopping, drinking, and entertainment, and a tie with Kyoto for dining, but it is the city itself that captivates tourists more than any one attraction. It's a vast, organic entity that stretches as far as the eye can perceive. Tokyo is always developing and has a unique variety of neighborhoods, so no two visits are ever the same sumo, kabuki, and Giants baseball tickets are often available one to two months in advance. Other famous sites that need advanced preparation include the Imperial Palace and the Ghibli Museum. Share your thoughts on this video which place in Japan would you want to visit? Don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our forthcoming notifications.